My serving ritual? Serving routine? Oh, that's a great question. I take five steps, but I only count to four in my head. To me, it feels really natural, and then I look at it on film, and it looks like very uncomfortable. I do two spins and three bounces. It's kind of like a family thing for me. I put the ball close to my mouth. I know it's weird, but that's just what I do. Count out my exact steps, and then I say, visualize it. As I got older, I just started to realize that when everything else can be different in the room, in the arena, having something to focus on the same every single time is going to really be beneficial. I try to drown everything out, even my own thoughts, and so that's the biggest thing is I like to hear the sound of the ball hit the ground, and so that drowns out my thoughts. And then when I take a deep breath, that's me just washing everything away. It's zero, zero, and I'm trying to make it one, zero. I came up with this serving routine the day before we played Princeton. I think it was freshman year of high school, like just when I started playing. I was, they were like, find out something that like works for you. When I play sand and grass in the summer, sometimes it'll get rain or sand on the ball, and so the ability to kind of get that off the ball, I learned that from out there and just kind of translated to keep it consistent indoors. Trial and error, you know. Originally it was six steps and then three bounces and Four bounce, like you kind of just find what works for you. Normally, I'm like back there. I'm like thinking like so much, so many things, and then after I started saying like, oh, just visualize it. Like, I want to visualize it, just serve going in, hit in the right zone. I mean, I've had multiple coaches in the past. I like, hit my clubs and be like, that's really weird. Maybe we should teach him something else. But I just, I'm confident in it, and I know what I can do with it. So I keep telling them, hey, this is what it is. And I've had enough coaches in the past that have even went up to other coaches and be like, hey, this is like, this is the reason why he's doing this, and it's working for us, so I want him doing it. When I get back there, the only thing I focus on after I'm bouncing and spinning the ball is I just, I take a deep breath and I tell myself, just give yourself a good toss, and I work from there. And just, that's the one thing I focus on, is get a good toss and everything else will fall into place.